Storytime animation channels are a pretty big staple on the YouTube platform. While animation itself has been on the site since the literal beginning, only recently have people been using their creativity and art to talk about how they cheated on their ex. However, a few years ago, a channel by the name of Storybooth changed a few things up. Instead of having the same single individual share their own stories about their life, what Storybooth did was animate the tales of hundreds of random people who asked to be on the channel. And boy was it a success. With virtually infinite number of people to hey, talk about their stories, they could never really run out of variety, which is probably a big reason it paid off so well. But there is a reason that I brought up this channel specifically, because here's the thing. Typically on YouTube, when someone finds a new formula that ranks in success, a lot of copycats tend to follow in their path. So while Storybooth is an amazing channel that innovated a new angle of storytime animation, the dark side of their channel's existence was them indirectly creating a new wave of fake storytime videos. I guess you're wondering why I'm wearing diapers? Creature crawled out of my body! There you are! Seducing teenagers! You should go to prison! The problem, these animated story channels have gotten too bad. These channels are getting hundreds of millions of views every month. The upload frequency is insane. Stepdaddy, can you make me some breakfast? That is, until my father died. My dream has come true. <laughs> Fake storytime videos are possibly one of the worst YouTube epidemics to have happened in recent memory. While not as popular as they used to be, the creation of Storybooth has led to an entire underground market of sketchy, poorly made, and downright disgusting animation videos polluting the medium. With some of these channels raking in millions of subscribers and millions of views in the process. How? And since storytime videos are typically targeted to children, millions of kids daily are exposing themselves to sketchy topics disguised as an innocent kids channel. So naturally, with all the things I've been saying for the past minute, I think it's safe to say that viewer discretion is advised. This video will be exploring subjects such as pathological lying, underage pregnancy, and a lot of content that is on the edge of 60 to 18 plus. So if that's not what you want to see, click off the video now. Alright, now that that's out of the way, I think we can begin uncovering the shady network. So uh, yeah, let's begin. The content and the many stories told on these animation channels are questionable at best and downright predatory at worst. Now, there are quite a lot of bad storytime channels to choose from, but for the most part, I'll be talking about this one channel called Share My Story, which is easily the worst one out of the rest. Now, first, let's go over the main consistent problem with these videos. None of them are true at all. Unlike Storybooth, who tells the true stories of many people's lives, channels like Share My Story have not only consistently lied about their content, but some of it is being based off of others. As a matter of fact, a lot of stories from different fake animation channels are the exact same, just with a few differences. Now, telling false tales isn't exactly the bad part. That's like me criticizing the entire genre of fiction. But the problem is, is that these channels love to make it seem like it's true, with descriptions even mimicking Storybooth, acting like you can participate and share your own story with them, even though they'll never actually do it. And for some reason, a lot of comments seem to believe the story and comment about these actions in the video as if it was real. Now, chances are, it's most likely because these comments are either written by bots or literal babies, but it's still strange nonetheless. Throughout their videos, you'll be getting stories such as how I became a billionaire at a young age, how I got adopted by a billionaire, how I became pregnant by a billionaire. You get the gist. It's honestly quite funny how easy it is to dispute these videos. For a video like Hated Because I'm a Genius, all you have to do is find a girl with 160 IQ, who is named... Actually, she isn't even named in the video. We'll get back to that later. And apparently someone who has an insecure boyfriend. And what do you know? There's nothing like it despite having a seriously famous attribute on her. All of this crap that I've had to say, and I'm afraid to tell you that it's probably the least worrying thing about these channels. Because while at their best, they're just simple annoying videos about false tales, at its worst, it gets a whole lot more terrible than you think. 
Time to go down the rabbit hole further. At her home, she immediately introduced me to her eight-year-old daughter and said, Hey, look who your mom is dating now. He's one of my students and super cute. Much cuter than your useless dad. Another subtle problem I've noticed with these channels is the lack of lessons they have. Now, I'm not saying it's required for you to have a conclusion at the end of your storytime animation, but I do think it makes these videos come off as pointless in the end. Most story times, not even for animation, usually have some kind of conclusion or end moral. These guys have none of it. Okay, I guess I was sort of lying. They do kind of have meanings. Here's an example. So this guy right here cheats on someone for another spouse, but then doesn't like that spouse, and then usually realizes the original one was fine, and then just goes back to normal, but then gets rejected, and as a result, the wife is now online dating. So in conclusion, don't cheat, yay? Aww. Or alternatively, sometimes the character usually gets bullied by someone, or maybe was viewed as much weaker, but then all of a sudden, by the end of the video, explains how he or she got a degree, went to college, and is now the richest man in the world. Yeah, these videos don't really make a lot of sense. But hey, they used to get hella views, so I guess it doesn't have to. Without a proper conclusion or lesson for your precious fanbase to learn, you end up having a garbage 10 minute video of someone explaining why their wife is 18, and that's it. It's purely forgettable content, and the lack of end morals they have is probably why their content is just… strange. On top of not being good content, and not having much of a conclusion, I've also noticed that they tend to re-upload many of their videos, as evident by the bot-like comments. But yeah, their videos are completely meaningless brain candy for children. So is there anything else bad about these channels? Oh boy, don't worry gullible viewer, it gets even worse. Now, if you thought making up random stories pretending to be real was bad enough, the content itself can sometimes be straight up nasty. I suppose in order to get viewers to click on them, these animation channels love to put in extremely predatory thumbnails, and stories that seriously lead to adulthood. But because of the innocent, family-friendly vibe they resonate, more often than not, most people who watch these videos are absolutely under the age of 12. And if you don't think that's true, then just look at the comments like I've said. They're absolutely brain dead. Some of this stuff ranges from videos like I have 10 kids at age 18. I fell in love with my maid. Breastfed at 16. It's just uh. I swear to god, half their content is purely just for shock. And going back to the lessons, these type of videos don't have much of it either. Now, it is true that Storybooth has done this before, with their most popular video, in fact, being about sending nudes to a boy. But what makes that different is that it's a harsh lesson that the poor girl had to endure, and made the story to warn others of similar situations. Share My Story, and all of the shady channels for that matter, makes no attempt to make a meaningful lesson in any way. All it is, is just... It all started about two years ago, when I realized I wasn't happy in my marriage. My wife always complained and criticized me, and to make things worse, she'd gained some weight and wasn't as attractive as before. Her name was Joanne. She was only 18 back then, but we got along so well. I liked how she treated me with so much admiration, like I was someone special. I knew things needed to change, and I told my wife I wanted an open relationship. When she said no, I got so angry and I said I wanted a divorce, because she had become a fat Grinch. Today, I'm petrified of destroying my relationship again, so I'm always buying her flowers and telling her how much I love her. And that's it. That's 90% of their content. Another thing I've noticed with these channels is that even though a lot of the thumbnails are in HD high quality, clicking on the video, you are instead presented with extremely rough animations. Great. So yeah, fake storytime channels love to bring in 18 plus topics despite presenting itself as a kids channel. Is there anything else to this? Um, well, yeah, there is. One other thing that I also want to tackle with these channels is their art. It's bad. Really bad. More often than not, the animation is extremely crude, poor in quality, and is just goofy to look at. 
Which is all the more funny when you realize that the thumbnails are, for some reason, in higher quality. Animation channels, storytime or not, always go through a transition of good to great art. That's just kind of the norm. The more you do something, the more likely you are to be better at it. What else is new? We've seen so many individuals such as Jaden, Haminations, and Odd Ones Out go from drawing underdeveloped figures on a white background to all of a sudden refining their art style, making HD backgrounds, producing merch, and for Odd Ones Out case, literally making a show, Christ. So could it be that Share My Story is simply just starting out and will eventually improve over time? Uh, well, no, absolutely not. Share My Story has begun making animations way back in 2018 to 2019, and comparing it to today's videos, they are the exact same. Judging from some of their comments they made, it looks like some of their videos got remastered, but the remaster ones even then still look horrible. I'll quit putting all my energy on Share My Story for a moment, and also explore some of these other channels, which are also like Share My Story, where they've been making animation videos for a while, and yet are still making crudely made artworks. Some of them almost even feel like they weren't hand-drawn at all, looking more like it was made by a straight-up bot. I mean, seriously, look at how off the animation feels here. But, like I said, this stuff, hell of use. Why would you ever want to improve if the same garbage animation brought you success in the first place? And with all the main points out of the way, it's time for a lightning round. Share My Story used to have a fake description pretending you could tell your story, but now in the recent videos no longer even has a description. The male characters love to make stereotypical woman voices. I hope so, because I spent three hours on makeup just for you. Wow. A lot of their past videos have gotten terminated in recent times, mostly included underage or stepfather pregnancy. A lot of the women in Share My Story, despite being underage, wear very revealing clothing. No, seriously, every single one. There are only two voice actors for each gender with no different people, so foreign people who weren't from English-speaking countries in the story talks in an obnoxious American voice. Hey, I'm Muhammad, and I am from Saudi Arabia. Looking at some of their different videos, it looks like they're reusing the same characters. And for the last one, they have been known to literally just copy their own stories from time to time. Lightning round over. So to write off, fake storytime animation videos are false, shady, stimulating, and poor in quality tales of subjects leading to adulthood. Thankfully, nowadays, no one really talks about these kind of channels anymore, as they're not really seen that much in the public eye. Most of the channels that I've talked about are long gone from their peak a few years back. But Christ, the fact that these channels even existed in the first place is downright frustrating to wrap my mind around. So many guidelines and rules on YouTube's policies have been broken by these videos. And yet, YouTube continues to let them thrive as if nothing happened. It's clear that they have crossed the border in many ways because a lot of their videos have since been terminated due to their disgusting subjects, where to this day, they are still re-uploading previously deleted videos from their past. But honestly, I was more expecting an entire channel shutdown than anything else. But I guess that never happened. I don't even know why so many people enjoy these. If you want to watch some actual good storytime videos, then just watch Story Booth or all of the countless individual creators who actually share their stories with great animation and lots of passion. But hopefully these networks of sketchy channels never rise to the fame they once had ever again. And I guess that's all I really need. But uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you sometime in the future. Goodbye. Oh wait, crap! Great. Mr. Cumberbatch, and gave him one more kiss on his mouth. This might shock you, but it was my first time. And because of my inexperience, I forgot to tell him to use protection. So two weeks later, I found out I was pregnant. I didn't mind, though, because I really liked Mr. Cumberbatch. The next day, I went up to him at school to tell him about the baby.